Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good? Ladies and gentlemen, of course you know who it is, yours truly, Dr. Mike, back again, once again, with another classic video for you guys today. If this is your first time watching the Dr. Mike TV video, by all means, please make sure you subscribe, become a part of the family, make sure you hit that like button, check out all of the links in the description area below for my eBooks, Patreon, uh, ways to contact me, everything that you need will be listed in the uh, description area below. Now today I wanted to discuss with you guys something extremely interesting to me I was on YouTube earlier today and I found this video entitled the four C's or the cheat code for women and it made me think wow there is actually a cheat code for women so I had to watch this motherfucking video <laughs> y'all know me again the video is entitled I think it's called the four C's cheat code for women and the YouTuber's name is Minister Jap. I am not the originator of the four C's that you are listing here in this video or that you're seeing in this video but the YouTuber who did it his name is Minister Jap. he had a video about the four C's called the cheat code for women and um uh, the video is probably about 27 minutes long or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the four C's and I'm just going to talk about them briefly. I'm not going to be before you long, of course, I'm trying to rip this one off like a bandaid and make some, you know, quicker videos and quicker topics to get you guys interested and intrigued. And, you know, just leave the floor open for you guys to leave your comments in the uh, comment section below. OK, now the belief behind the four C's is that. Every woman in the entire world will fit under at least one of these four C's. When you say the cheat code for women, it's basically saying that all these women in the world need at least one of these C's in order for you to get from point A to point B or for you to, you know, get where you're trying to go in life. And we already know what that is. I'm not sure if it's relationship wise or if you're just trying to hook up, whatever it may be. All of these women have at least one of the C's. And if you can conquer and master one of these C's and you know which C, the girl that you're looking for to, you know, doing your thing with, if you know what C she falls under, it'll make life so much easier. Now, again, this is just my interpretation. You guys can definitely check out the video. I thought it was a pretty interesting video. That's why I'm using it in this particular topic. OK, without further ado, I'm going to give you all of the C's right now. <laughs> so drum roll, please. I don't know how to do drum rolls. Bam. Right there. These are the four C's. The cheat code for women. If you're looking to get from point A to point B. C, number one is consistency. Now let's talk about consistency. The way that it was explained to me in the video and the way that I actually interpreted it is that Women like consistency. If you're a guy that's always around, right place, right time, the best way that I like to say it, you know, being that guy that's consistent in her life, whether it be talking to her on the phone or whatever it may be, being the guy that's consistent in her life will definitely help you to get from point A to point B. All right. Consistency. That's the first C. Compliments. I've talked about this before. Women really need to be complimented <laughs> i don't care what they say women just need to be complimented if you compliment a woman and you're complimenting them in a way in which they want to be complimented nine times out of ten it'll help you get from point a to point b now again we could elaborate on this a little bit more but i'm just giving you the brief synopsis of it all all right the third c is conversation women like to talk Women like guys that are engaged in the conversation. If they're talking about something that's interesting to them and you are a person that's engaged in the conversation, you're responding and you're attentive and you're paying attention to whatever she's saying. That could also be a key factor in helping you get from point A to point B. <laughs> and if you're looking at the screen, I'm not going to read what the last one is, guys. I think you already know what it is, even though I didn't spell the word. It's a C. And in that C represents the man's uh, natural organ used in the participation of sexual activity. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so basically with that particular uh, C, it focuses more on the sexual aspect of the relationship. Women naturally, in my personal opinion, just love to make love, I guess. I mean, there's no there's no easier way to say it or no easier way to put it. All right. 
So these right here are the four C's that were mentioned in the video that I previously mentioned to you guys before. They were explained in a more elaborate way in the other video, but I'm just giving you the general overview of it. And I just want to see if you agree or disagree. That's what I'm looking for in the comment section now. Do you guys agree with these four C's? Do you agree that this is what women want as far as the cheat code for women is concerned? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, give me your opinion on it. Now, I know a lot of guys, and I can almost guarantee this, they're going to be like, ah, this is the cheat code for women, the simps version or some shit like that. And that's not entirely accurate. Being consistent in a woman's life doesn't mean that you have to be a simp about it. You know, <laughs> being consistent just means being there, right place, right time. Hell, I could shoot off a text message and it only take me like two seconds to just say, hi, hello, how you doing? And be done with it, right? You know, and if a girl wants your attention, if she needs it, she'll be the one to contact you first. You feel me? When it comes to complimenting, you don't have to be like, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. You're like a goddess. You're like my queen. None of that bullshit. That does not. That's not what we mean by complimenting. Complimenting, you know, I think you look nice in that dress today. That dress really brings out the color of your eyes. Something smooth, something a little bit more casual, something that makes it seem like a nice compliment, but you're not going overboard and, you know, looking like a bitch. OK, when it comes to conversation talking i mean shit anybody can have a conversation to me conversation is free unless you the one that feels like you need to be paid for your time conversation is free and then of course we all know the last c <laughs> i think we can all agree with that one and we can definitely make that an interesting night between you and your young lady however you deem fit and with that being said i'm gonna leave you with this food for thought ladies and gentlemen for today the good doctor is officially out alice knuckle Pa'alam, which means we are going now. Bye bye. As always, love you guys. Mahakita, mabuhai. Do you agree with the four C's? Yes or no? Let me know. Peace.